I just had to do this. I've just I've just done this to show you what the revolutions pack is actually capable of. See? Now if you're not looking at that in too much of a greater detail, you'd think that that's Windows XP on first glance anyway, wouldn't you? Because I think it looks really cool. Anyway, I'm going to show you some popular programs that I've installed to make Windows 98 still usable in this day and age. Right, I've got a bunch of programs that I installed here. Now these are just probably everyday stuff that everyone uses. To burn CDs and DVDs you can use Deep Burner and it still works, still works perfectly fine on Windows 98. For Windows Live Messenger there's AMSN. Now this supports most of the new features from Windows Live Messenger such as voice clips, webcam, audio chat, stuff like that, stuff that you couldn't normally get in Windows 98. So there, there are alternatives, so you can still use 98, you know, for this sort of stuff. You've got Pigeon for connecting to other networks. I had to install GTK first and it, I had to install an old version as well. So that works. And XChat for IRC. Now this will refuse to run on Windows 98 so you have to right click it, click properties, go to compatibility and choose Windows 2000 or else it won't run. The thing is it works just fine so why they made the restriction I don't know. They shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do it but they do it and they should just say this program isn't supported on Windows 98 click here to continue anyway you know although we won't help you if something goes wrong with it on 98 but they should have click here to continue just in case I'm gonna load up like every program now and then we'll see how it runs we'll see if Windows 98 is stable or not I'll run everything that I've got installed anyway hold on a minute right there's a whole lot of programs running right now as you can see and the system is still running pretty stable actually there doesn't seem to be any slowdown or anything to be honest it's working the way it would normally do so it's not a bad system considering I've only, got, I've only allocated 512 meg of RAM you know it's funny well I'm quite pleased this has been a good good experiment hasn't it I've also installed VLC player so it can play a wide range of multimedia formats as well but yeah it's still a perfectly usable system then and that concludes the Windows 98 videos. I'll show you the boot screen. The drivers are installed now. Now we'll run some of the updates. Now we're going to install the updates. I've got to remove this first. And then I've got to click connect to the internet. and this should work we should have the internet in its IE5 glory yeah. oh, look at that just shows you how old the system is doesn't it well why not
I should have used the Y switch. Oh well. This will make the install size really small. If we can still get to things, let's... Control panel doesn't work too brilliantly now. Oops, I have a floppy drive. Well that is what you call a small install size. And that's it, the entire hard drive is wiped now. Well, it's not wiped because the partition table's still there, but you know all the files from it are wiped. What's it left us with? Oh it's left us with the programs that can't be closed, I guess. Well there you go, to people who complain about IE not being removed